you're screaming at employees at Walmart. Get out of here. That's racist. Yes, it is. No, it's not. The United States doesn't have an official language, jackass. Educate yourselves. You need to. How am I doing? My critic, you. You're really close. Are you afraid? You I, should run away. I don't like But you have you your super mask on. I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> I don't need protection from you. Oh, you just touched me. I oh, really wish no, you had. I touched you. Here, I, I'm going to get COVID. I gotta no, you're probably going to give it to me. <laughs> Are you going to leave? Look at oh. you. Are you going to leave the store? Are you going to leave the store? Are you going to leave the store? You're being scary. You and aggressive to another you customer. Don't. Would you please leave? I'm aggressive? Would you I please leave? Okay. Maybe. No. The thing I wanted to say, leave? which you wouldn't let me say, you all, all in my face. Right? Call. When you, all when I, face. if I ever come back here again, and this thing is proven to be a hoax, I want an apology from each and every one of you. Cheap. Yeah, Educate yourself. You tell someone you know is sick, and then you will see how much. Nobody is sick, sweetheart. Go for it. Educate yourself. Please leave. Go online. Please leave and now. read and learn. I mean, damn. Uh, this particular Karen, her Karenicity obviously runs deep. I titled this OG Karen. She's been Karening for a long time. So this particular Karen, she's upset that other people are wearing masks. That's a personal healthcare decision. You don't see this kind of reaction from people based on healthcare decisions like you do as it relates to COVID. COVID has been politicized, the whole conversation. It doesn't mean that the conversation of COVID is political. It has simply been politicized. Now, this reaction obviously extreme, ridiculous, and insane. But anti-Karen was there. You know what we got for people? Shameless plug, let's put up the anti-Karen t-shirts, we got them. If you would like to be an anti-Karen, which by the way, that's the top super superhero happening right now, anti-Karens. All right, if you want to be down with the anti-Karen movement, shop tyt.com, shop tyt.com. We got hoodies, we got t-shirts, we, we got all that stuff. Uh, Senator Turner, this Karen was off the hook here. What are your thoughts? She was, anti-Karens unite, baby, we need <laughs> right. you. No, you know, it's like preschool. I mean, she conducted, she comported herself worse than a preschooler, because we understand yep. why preschoolers act the way that they did. You know, it's the thing we learned in psychology about the id and the ego. Uh, but but this grown, overgrown woman comporting yep. herself this way was just absolutely ridiculous. And she's never getting an apology. She said that this thing was a hoax, meaning the, the, the virus is a hoax and she wants an apology. She's never getting that apology. Does she not know that hundreds of thousands of people have already died? Yeah. Due to complications of COVID, she talking about read and research. She needs to follow her own advice and read and research. But just all up in that person's face like that, Jesus Christ! Yeah, she needs to be careful. She's in a high risk category. She yeah, got, she, she got to stop acting like this. And listen, she may be somebody's grandmother. I get that. I don't I don't like seeing people who have been anti mask or anti vaccine contract COVID and die. It's one of the saddest things yeah. that I see because it's so avoidable, right? I mean, simple, simple measures to protect yourself. I mean, a mask, social distancing, she decided to violate all of that. And that's infectious disease 101, okay? Think about this, Senator, think about this. If somebody walked into a building and they're coughing, right? Common cold. The average person with common sense capacity, they're gonna try to avoid being around that person because they don't want to catch the common cold. That's common sense. That's not political. There's nothing political about that. But all of a sudden, COVID, contrary to the basic rules of viruses, does not make sense whatsoever until you calculate the political climate that it exists in. And that is it. That's right. Yeah. That's it. And that's all.